Hello, welcome to FHF YouTube channel. Today we are going to check out this tool called Unarchiver, which is available for Mac. It lets you extract files from multiple formats like RAR, ZIP, and so on. This is a completely free to use tool. It's a very lightweight tool and it supports multiple file formats including zip, rar, tar, gzip, bzip2. It even supports some of the older formats like stuffit, cpio, lzh or it even support some unusual formats like XAR, RPM, DEB, PDF and so on. So as you can see it supports a lot of formats that you can use an archiver with. To install this app you can either download this on Mac App Store or alternatively you can download this using this button on your Mac. And click on this button and start the download. Once the download is completed I will click on this down, recent download history button in my Chrome browser. I will click on the downloaded file. This will automatically open the finder window. And I can see the unarchiver over app over here. Which I can drag and drop on the top of applications folder. Once this is done, if I now go to my launch pad. And I search for unarchiver over here. I will see that the app is automatically installed. I click on this icon and now it will confirm whether I want to open this app. I will say yes, open it. And now I can see the archive formats that are supported with an archiver. So what I can do is I can select and deselect the formats that I want to support within archiver. What I usually do is I select RAR 7-zip, some of the formats that I use frequently, gzip, tzz, Gz, Bzip2, Xz, Tzxz, Tar, ISO, Gtar. I select these formats so that these are automatically enabled whenever I download a file of any of these formats. Under extractions, I can also choose an option where do I extract the archives to. So I always you know say that I extract to the same folder as the archive itself and then should I always create a new subfolder for extracted files? I say always. What this does is if I extract a zip file that contains 100 files all of these 100 files are put in the single folder and then modification date I leave it at current date and time and also after successfully extracting an archive you know I enable the option to reveal the expanded items within Finder, right? Under Advanced, I think there is some advanced settings. I leave these as it is and then I close this window. Once this is done, now if let's say I have a zip file or any file that Unarchiver supports, I can simply right click on the file, click on Open with, and this is where I will see the option of Unarchiver. So once I click on this the Unarchiver app, for a second a window flashes which says extracting files and now this, fold, this zip file is automatically extracted within this subfolder and when I click on that subfolder I will notice that it contains the extracted file within it. I can alternatively also right click on this. and. Make sure that the file contains the same file within the zip file. To verify that, I can go back to the zip file and this time, instead of using the unarchiver app, I can actually just double click it, which will now utilize Mac's built in extraction feature to extract the file out of this app. In this case, because the folder is not automatically created, I know that this file was actually extracted using the max inbuilt extraction feature. But when I right click on it and I extract it with the unarchiver, 
then the subfolder is created and within the subfolder the same file is exist over there as well this concludes our tutorial on archiver again it is completely free to use it's a very small app it's a very lightweight app and it supports multiple formats including some of the famous ones like zip zipx ra 7z tar gzip bzip2 and so on hope you like the video if you like the video please don't forget to like this video at the bottom of this window you can also subscribe to our apache youtube channel so that you can stay updated with all these free tools that are available for mac for you to use thank you very much for visiting apichip have a nice day